Hello everybody, this is Garden Jen for Garden Jen's Journey. We're just going to take a quick walk today because I wanted to show you some things. The last couple days it's been nasty, rainy. We even had uh, kind of like a snow kind of rain. Uh, the weather's been horrible as far as um, uh, just constant rain and dreariness and cold and yeah. But this is Michigan. This is what we expect this time of year. You know, we get beautiful days like today. I mean, you can see the sun is shining. Might be able to hear some birds singing. It's beautiful today. Yesterday was horrible. But I wanted to share, show you some things. This area here, um, you might be able to see the telltale signs of it where those logs are. This actually was underwater yesterday. I mean, you can see some footprints over here where we sank. Uh, this is my little bridge that I have to get into my chicken coop here. And I'll show you these guys are getting big. So hopefully you can hear me over the wind. So, <clears throat> all right, in we go. Update on my chickens that we just got a little while ago. Look at how big they are. And that little guy right there, that's our rooster. He is two weeks younger than these guys, so he's still quite a bit smaller. But they're getting there. And of course we have some cranky girls, but aren't they a beautiful size and they're getting their coloration. I mean this young lady here, look at her colors, isn't she gorgeous? And then we have some, the one back there, she's more of a blonde, she's got a lot more of the gold on her. But they're, they're getting there, these guys are probably about two pounds now. And she's a little feisty, she's an ordinary little girl. But anyway, so that's how the chickens are doing. And then, of course, my dog being naughty. So we're going to go outside and I'll show you some of my garden. And again, hopefully you'll be able to hear me. The wind's a little breezy today. So we'll just see how it goes. So hang on. Okay, this is uh, looking at my garden here. And we're going to go in and um, I'm going to show you how the uh, jugs are doing and some other things. Um, again, it's about 50 degrees today. Um, I'm actually out in a t-shirt because uh, it's kind of nice compared to the 30 degree weather we just had yesterday. And so we're going to walk across this mud pile here. And I was really excited when I looked at my seeds today, or my seedlings, sorry, in these jugs. Um, I've got quite a few. I've got, um, I think now I'm up to 250 jugs because I've um, done up quite a bit of winter sowing for my business as well. But I'll uh, show you what my jugs are looking like right, right now and hopefully you can see them through the glare and all that. So let's see, we'll look at some beets here. <clears throat> all right, you see those guys? Those are Detroit beets. And if you can see in there, those are my green onions. Let's see. All right. See my rutabagas, aren't they gorgeous? So, got quite a few over here. We'll go over here to this side and see what we got. Let's see. We'll look at my turnips. <clears throat> Absolutely gorgeous in there. Right. And this is my kale. This is dwarf kale. And as you can see, I overseeded. But the point of that is I'm actually going to be separating these out once they get a little bit bigger. Not quite yet, of course. But when they get a little bit bigger, I'm going to be separating them out a little bit. <clears throat> I only have a few cauliflower sprouts at the moment, but that's okay. I'm sure some more will pop up. Let's see. And let's see. Nothing in that one yet. Let's see if you can see them in there. We got a few or shallot sprouts, not very many in that one. Yeah, not many shallots right now. 
anyways, that's how these guys are doing. Now I want to take you to my greenhouse where I saw a catastrophe today. So. <clears throat> As you can see right there, it got really mucky. I was sinking into the ground. <laughs> but that's the weather for us. All right. All right, I left the door cracked because it was 110 degrees in here um, when I came home today after work. Let's see what it is now. If you can see that, we're just sitting at 80. I had to open my vents. I don't have automatic vents. I wanted to show you what happened. See these guys? They were gorgeous um, yesterday. Um, but it was cold, it was nasty, so I had them covered with this. And, you know, they're steam. Uh, I was keeping them from getting frostbitten because it got really cold at night. And, well, as you can see, in just a few hours, they got cooked. I don't know if they'll survive. They look pretty damaged. But we'll see how they do. I'm going to leave the, um, the lids off and see. Same with my um, mints and stuff here that I'm trying to propagate. Some do not look too well. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. But look at these guys. These are um, my uh, direct sown seeds. I have my kale, spinach, and uh, let's see what else this is. Um, lettuce. This is trumpster lettuce there. And then back here I have some romaine and some more trumpter lettuce. Those, These are all been direct sown. And they had lids on them that I just took off today. But we're just going to leave the lids off till later on tonight and then I might cover them back up. Because they are cold weather crops. But if it's going to get down below freezing I will put the lids back on so they so they don't get um, frostbitten. So yeah, I was, I was just sickened that I lost. They were uh, really good vibrant plants. As you can see, three of them were quite tall, very beautiful, and now they're just cooked. So, uh, the benefits of winter sowing, my seeds out there didn't get cooked. These ones did. So anyways, that's what's going on here. Um, we'll see if anything survives the greenhouse effect, so to speak, and I'll keep you guys updated. Um, I'll also show you here, see if I can move stuff out of the way. Um, my elderberry bushes are doing wonderful in here. They like the warmness. So I've got the one here, and then I got the one over here. They're sprouting really well, and I uh, can't wait to be able to finally put them in the ground. This guy didn't do too well. It was a hibiscus, and again, it was pretty big like the, uh, the peppers, and, uh, well, it got cooked too. So, eh. But anyways, just thought I'd show you the difference uh, conditions can make for growing seedlings. I'm really excited about the winter sowing concept. Um, it's looking like it's doing great. Quite a few times I've actually had to water my um, my jugs though because I don't think I see, uh, use the correct tape on them. So I have this thing here. It's a Roundup. Yes, I know. It says Roundup. But um, I just use this for water. It's a beautiful system for watering. I've never put any chemicals in it. It just happens to be the brand of sprayer that I bought. I got it for eight bucks. And I think these things run almost $30. Uh, but I got it on clearance. So never mind the name. The function is what I'm looking at. And it does really well. Um, you know, you can do a fine mist spray um, for, the, for the jugs and it works very well. So anyways, this is Jen. From Garden Jen's Journey. Uh, keep it safe, keep it sane, and enjoy your gardening, everybody. Bye bye now.